to? How's everybody doing tonight? Good to see you on here. Okay. Obviously, I'm not, rest, not dressed to, to wrestle right now. Uh, I actually, if you notice my attire, I'm wearing a Justin Myers t shirt. Uh, the shirt of the UBW champion who's going to retain his belt today. Give it up for Justin Myers. My only regret is that I'm not the one kicking Joker's ass as well. But that's okay, because Justin's got this under, under, under control. Anyways, the real reason that I'm out here today, right now, is there's a few things I gotta get off my chest. You all know, heard the Chuck Wood posse going on and on. Boo. <laughs> Yammering on about whatever. He doesn't like me. I, well, I can't stand him. Uh, uh, right now, I'm out here. And first of all, I want to thank all of you for coming. You guys, I'm out here right now with me. You guys are my family. All of you. And I just want to say, like, I don't know all of you on a personal level, but I do know a lot of you. And for those of you that know me personally, you'll know that like this isn't a gimmick. This isn't just a hobby that I do on the weekends. This is who I am. Like, wait, hold on just a second. You see this wristband I have right here? You see that cameraman? It says, I love wrestling. I wear this every day with pride. You know, it's who I am. I love the Colts. I have my Colts wristband and corn. That's who I am. And, anyways, what am I trying to say? What I'm trying to say is last year when I, I was going through a lot of personal problems and I had a lot of issues going on personally in my life, this promotion was all I had. Wrestling for UBW was, was my life. And when Joe Kerr, or excuse me, if we're using real names now, Donnie, uh, when you and your posse of Delft's Rejects took what was the most precious thing in my life, you, when you took that away from me, you took away the heart and soul that is UBW, and, and I, it's, un, it's unforgivable. And, I, and, then, and then after this last show, you had the, you had the goal to show your face, and, and uh, then you took it one step further. Choker, Donnie, whatever you want to call yourself. You took it one step further. And I haven't been the champion in two years. And I almost, I, I should be the one wrestling Justin Myers for the belt today. I was this close. You're not in this alone. 
not everything just affects you. There is an entire family of UBW wrestlers back there. It does not just affect you. So for you to come out here and basically say, it does, imagine how every single one of them feels. Just, just imagine. They, they probably all feel like Craig is an egomaniac. Craig, Craig is. He's the egomaniac that we're starting to believe he is because he's making all these his problems. What you don't realize or what you stopped realizing, we're all in this together. UBW is a company. No, I take that back. UBW is a family of people that have each other's backs. And whether you believe me on what I'm saying or not, know that no matter what, I'm the one saying this, and I will always have your back no matter what. I had your back with Donnie, with the Devil's Rejects, but you're not the same maniac you were years ago. Instead of doing something about it, you've been... All right, I've heard enough. I think I've, I think I've heard enough. Yeah. I got your back. I absolutely, you're, you're my best friend, but I have your back. And I understand what you're saying, that I think you misinterpreted a few things. I do understand how everyone feels, okay? And I, I feel for them. And I also feel for everyone out here, as I know you do. You know, us not wrestling for months, I mean, it tore all of us up, but I understand that. I was just trying to express my own personal feelings right now. But I, I get what you're saying, and I respect, absolutely respect what you're saying. And I do have your back, and everyone else is back here in UBW, so come on, man. I love you, bud. Let's not do this. And involving your whole thing with Donnie and the, the title matches and the way Justin Myers explained how Donnie, Joker, whatever, how he won. He won. It, it's over. He won. He's going to face the world champion. He was supposed to What I'm saying is, he won. He did something that a lot of people in the past did. It hasn't happened in a while. They pull the wool over, over everybody's eyes. They do something you don't see coming. He had an opportunity. He took it. He's in the main event. What are you doing tonight? How about I give you something to do tonight? Since you're talking about titles and everything else, let, let's bring up something that we're it. You, me, last, we're the only original guys. Sure, Smack, Delphi, they've walked in, walked out. No, through thick and thin, me and you have been here. Bad, good, everything. We have seen it through, we are it. So, what I'm saying, <coughs> is I want it to be me and you for this title. Right here. And, and before you try and take the mic away from me and try and cut a promo and boost it up, I, I know you and it, it's, it's cool. This is it. The last two originals, Wolf versus Maniac. No hype, nothing. They know, that's it. So what all I'm looking for you is a one word answer and I'll go. Yes or no? Yeah! 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 Hardcore match! Hardcore match! Hardcore match! 
Absolutely. And just so you know, we are best friends, but I'm not going to hold nothing back. And just so you know, we've been at this a long time, before we were the boneyard, the backyard even. And I just want you to remember that the maniac helped define hardcore wrestling in UBW. Anybody? Buddy? What? Yeah. What? That belt? Yeah. Coming home with the maniac. Yeah. I respect you. But this time, you may have bit off more than you can chew. I love the way you say fact you you define you defined it in the old days but Craig Maniac I improved it. Yeah. Is everyone having fun so far today? Yeah. Have you enjoyed the action so far? Yeah. You want more? You guys excited for that yeah. Maniac versus Wolf in a hardcore match for the title? Yeah. All right. Just so everyone knows, we do have pre-tickets for the next show. I believe it is May the 20th. We are raffling four tickets off right before the main event today. They are $2. They are $2 a ticket.
the bus stop. <laughs> yeah, the bus stop! <laughs> Fatbox. What? By the way, this match will be a hardcore match. Yeah! 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 will be the number one contender for the hardcore yeah. title.